Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking animated background effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. And so I'm just going to go with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Just press OK. Once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid. And so I'm just going to leave it as white. Don't worry too much about that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called radio waves and now if you scrub through you can actually see what is actually happening here so what we're going to do now is we're just going to change up this a little bit so we're just going to go down to the frequency and drop that to about 0.7 so now that's made that a little bit slower and that's looking pretty cool but we're going to change it up as well I am going to change the color. Now for the colors, I have gone to color hunt and for the actual wave, I'm gonna be choosing this color palette. So I'm gonna be using the, this color for the gradient background, but I'm gonna be choosing a lighter color for the actual, um, you know, the, the radio waves that we have here. Cool, so now that we've changed the color, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some turbulent displays on this. So you can already see what's happening here and I've already created another video with this animated wave kind of effect. So this one will be a little bit different and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bump up the amount to about 580. And now we've got this really warped kind of effect. And honestly, like that looks pretty cool just like that. But we're gonna change it up a little bit more. So we are going to add another effect which is called wave warp and so what we're going to do in here is now you can see we are starting to have these small little waves so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the line height to about six and i'm going to change the width to about 57 so it's not so wavy and then by all means you can change the wave speed you can change uh anything really in here i am going to drop the wave speed down to about 0 0.9 and so now when you scrub through that, now it's kind of breaking apart and coming back together. And I think that looks uh, pretty cool. So now the final effect that we're gonna put on here is an echo effect. So if I search for the effect echo, and then if I go to the echo time, I'm gonna change this to negative 0 0.100. And so now we've added a kind of duplicate of that inside of our kind of blob thing. And I mean, that looks pretty cool, but look, you can play around with this, you know, for example, if you want, you know, a few more settings and things like that, but I'm gonna leave it at that value over there because I am gonna increase the number of echoes. So I'm gonna bring that up, you know, maybe I'll just bring it to about two. So now it kind of fills in that gap with that extra kind of line. And I think that looks pretty cool. The other thing I'm gonna do in here is I'm just gonna drop the decay to 0.8. And I think that looks a little bit better. And Echo can be a little bit taxing on your computer. So if you have to, you can drop down to a half or a third, etc. So that's basically it pretty much. That's the radio waves kind of complete. Now all we have to do is we have to dress it up. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the background. So I'm just gonna create another new solid. I'm gonna call that BG. I'm gonna put it underneath. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for an effect called gradient ramp. Then I'm gonna go back to color hunt and I'm gonna choose that really dark color and I'm gonna replace the white. And if I just press okay, if I change that to a radial ramp, and then if I move the start of the ramp to the middle and the end of the ramp to somewhere over here, and then if I go swap colors, now you've got that cool kind of vignette effect. And that looks pretty cool. And so the next thing that we can do is we can just add some glow effects to this. So to go and add some glow, what we can do is we can just search for the effect called glow. And you can already see just with the default glow, it looks pretty good. But we are going to change some values. I'm gonna to come to the uh, threshold and I'm gonna change that to 55%. I'm gonna change the radius to about 500 and I'm gonna leave it like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that. So Command D to duplicate it. 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down the threshold to about 20% I am going to drop the radius to about 10 and then I can even drop down the glow intensity to 0.A or whatever you need so now we've got some cool kind of glow happening with the entire object and I think that is looking pretty cool so the final things that we can do to this is number one we can add an adjustment layer and the overall adjustment layer we're going to add some noise here so if I change that to maybe about 10% something like that now it kind of ties it all together cool so now once we have that I am going to add another adjustment layer but this time I'm going to put it in between the effect and the background and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an effect called curves and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring down this value over here and then bring up that value over there so it just makes it look a little bit darker just like that and now we've got this cool kind of glowing kind of blob that transforms and turns into a animated background and you know if you just add some text or something on top of this this looks really really cool and there you can see an example with some text on the screen so anyways that's it for this short tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video